Greetings. Thanks for watching. In our first video, Intro to Raising My Own Cell Tower, I explained the how and the why I put this tower up. In this video, I'll show you what was needed to do so. The tower was mounted on a homemade bracket or base, if you will. One of the three legs detaches from the base while the other two legs are hinged at the base, allowing it to tilt downward. The old cell tower was a PVC pipe attached to my 12 foot high water tower. The new tower is Roan 40 foot. Holding it all down is 1500 pounds of concrete attached to anchor bolts. Well, <clears throat> I've got some music playing in the background. Don't really know the song, but it's by Need to Breathe. Anyway, the reason I'm starting this video is just to show what's going on here. I've got uh, the sections all put together in twos so that they're ready to be assembled the day that I go ahead and attach them to this plate. However, <clears throat> I had not had this hole in the ground to begin with. And what I did is I poured four footings, three feet deep, put anchors in them. But when I pushed the anchor down into the cement, there appears to have been like a little gap on top. This thing moves. And pretty much that's the worst one, but every one of them moves a little bit. So that doesn't give me a lot of incentive to hold all this up confidence I should say so what I did is I dug this hole it's three feet deep it's about 12 inches across and I'm gonna put five more bags of cement in there I hope and then because I need to anchor it to something what I did is I came up with this these uh, here will just um, grab the cement a little bit better and this bar at the bottom will be in the cement it'll grab the cement better and this is the template that I used to put the other anchors in. So I've got uh, these bolts coming up a little bit out of, the, out of the board so that I'll have something to anchor to. So that uh, five bags times 60, 300 more pounds of cement in the ground holding that 150 pound plate down, it should uh, more than take care of the weight of this antenna which isn't that much actually but because it's being pulled up on an angle that's uh that's what concerns me i don't want it to pull out of the ground when it's happening so another hot day out here in northern wisconsin it's not really that hot it's just that the sun is just blasting down and it'll get worse toward midday but it's all worth it to me well that's five bags of concrete right there. Perfect fill. Filled it all the way up to the top. So that's 300 pounds of cement. And now that's gonna go in. Hopefully it's all gonna work the way it needs to work. Nothing more to it than that. Fit right in there. I just gotta put the nuts uh, probably on those 5 8 bolts sticking up. The ones in the center are half inch. I'll just, uh, actually I won't even put bolts on it, I'll just put something, something heavy on it to hold it down, to let it dry for a day, pull a form tomorrow, and then let it set for a week or so, maybe more, and then uh, I'll be able to put the, uh, put the tower up. Well, here is the unveiling. I pulled the form off, and that's it. Five times six, 300, 300 pounds of cement with uh, two half inch threaded rods that are down in there, total of 36 inches. And I think you could subtract about 10 inches there, so 26 inches of threaded rod embossed in 
cement. So now I've got to get this 150 pound plate of steel over the top of there and lined up with those six holes. That'll be my next job. Well, there it is. It took me about 20 minutes to muscle that plate over there. And you can see that the, the holes are lined up. I did have to give them a little bit of a nudge, two of them. So I used this two by six and a mini sledge. Actually, it's a sledgehammer. And I just put it underneath the plate on the bolt, gave it a hammer, and uh, boom, fell right into place just like that. So I'm real happy with it. It looks level. I'm going to get the level and check that now, but I did add some more, uh, another nut. So there was a, a nut on each bolt, but I added a second nut and then another washer so that uh, I could use the first nut as a jam nut to keep uh, to keep it you know sturdy as far as not loosening up or going down, which it probably never would have. But uh, yeah, so it's uh, it's in place. It's a good thing. Well, when you were looking at this before, you might have asked, I wonder what those brackets are at the back. Well, this is a mast. That is a winch bracket. It's like a universal winch bracket. I have a place on my trailer that uh, I have one like that. Uh, this one now on the mast. And I also have one in my skinning shed for trapping uh, where I pull the hides off using a winch. So that winch can be moved around, go from this bracket to the next. And that winch is what's going to pull the tower up at a later time. So the um, mast is about 10 feet tall. Uh, there'll be a snatch block up on the top that the cable will go through. And then that'll be attached. If I can get a shot without the sun in my face, that'll be attached to that hook that's right there, a stainless steel hook. And that'll pull uh, the mast up. So, what I'm getting ready to do now is raise that up and bolt it in place. And for all practical purposes, it can just stay there. It doesn't need to be brought down at any time. Might even put a flag on it or something, who knows. But anyway, it's uh, it's meant to be stationary, but obviously if it, you could take it off or just leave it there. It only needs to be there every time you raise and lower the, the tower. Well, it didn't exactly go as planned. Uh, it's on there and that's that's what it looks like I'll go on the other side so the sun's not in my eyes again but uh, you can see the, the loop there is right across from that one and between those two is where that snatch block will go so that'll pull the pull it up but the problem was, was that uh, the base on there didn't want to swivel because uh, it's flat on the left hand corner on the bottom there. It's, it's flat and it can't swivel because if it's got a, a bolt in it, the uh, corner of that plate that's welded onto the mast hits the, the base, which is fine. I mean, I was able to set it up there and then uh, bolt it on and you know it's on an angle it's supposed to be that way we built it that way so that there's a snatch block that goes between there and it's not gonna um it'll pull the tower straight up into position instead of just part way so we don't have to push it the rest of the way so that should work good